Hello guys and welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is weekly gender and love reading for Zodiac sign Leo for new upcoming week 21st of January until 27th of January. Okay, obviously you can see guys my tarot deck is impatient. Obviously he wants to say something to you. So let me see what this might be. If you're single or attached, Leo, female or male, you are welcome. So guys, let's get started and let's see what you can expect. Okay, the very first tarot card for Leo Zodiac sign for new upcoming week is... Wow! Major Arcana the star. So guys, you are the star already. But, you know, in the next seven days, life will put you somehow uh, on stage, you know. So, it could be in any area of your life. But, you know, if you're single, this is the first sign that you might fall in love. Major Arcana, the star, if you know a little something about tarot, probably you already know that this is one of the best tarot cards, especially next to Major Arcana, the sun. So, you can see a woman... You can see naked woman, one leg in the water and one leg on a, on a ground soil, guys. You can see with those two cups, uh, you know, uh, people, some people know what this tarot card means. So let me explain. Major Arcana, the star is about healing you, healing yourself, or maybe you healing somebody else. But Major Arcana, the star, also talks about your identity. You healed and successfully something. So now you are naked. It means that you are born again. Draining and difficult people and situations finally are behind your back. So you are renewed. You have new identity. You have new skill, you have new wish, and this wish will be fulfilled. So you can see one big golden star, and you can see seven white stars all around you. And also this tarot card talks about being a leader. So if you're single, this is the very first sign that you might meet someone. If you're attached, this could be pregnancy. But Major Arcana, the star, is beautiful, beautiful tarot card, which talking about your health, physical and mental health. Guys, who knows what happened with you in the past couple of months, maybe even years. But now you are once again strong. You are not afraid to deal with the life. So just remember, this is like you having a new I did. You simply know who you are, where you are heading and what you want. The next tarot card is King and King of Pentacles, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. So who is this man in your life, especially if you are a woman? Obviously King is mature man who knows what he wants. And obviously he wants you and I think that you want him as well. Because of this person, you can change your social status. Obviously this is you going up on social hierarchy. This is someone who is ambitious as you are. Typical Leo, female or male, basically are always very ambitious. This is someone who is steady. This is someone who is planning future with you and slowly. This is finally someone who will stick to the plan, which is excellent. Because, you know, so many people nowadays will promise so many things and, you know, maybe they will, they will not deliver, but this man, he will deliver what he promised to you. Guys, if this is your partner, you can expect 
a pregnancy. Of course, not all of you, but some of you. The very next tarot card is Six of Pentacles. You can see a scale. You can see measuring. You can see money. You can see a person who is very, very generous. Guys, once again, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, someone who is rich and someone who will be generous towards you. How many times you said, I don't need a rich man, but I need a generous man next to you. So guys, this is exactly what it is. This wish of yours will be granted, will be fulfilled. If this is your current partner, your current partner will buy you something probably expensive. But also try to stay modest and, you know, moderate. Because, you know, money come and money go. So, you know, I'm not saying that you should only, uh, you know, save money for the rainy days. But if you have some extra money, you know, invest money on very wise way. I can see for some of you expanding your business, growing your business, getting new business, and you will earn great deal of money. Still, I can see you helping your family, even some of good friends, but try not to exaggerate. All I'm saying, do not exaggerate. Okay, let me see what else I can see. Leos, wow, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. So who this person is? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is someone who is sad. This is someone who probably were rejected by you. So this person is trapped in the feeling feeling towards you. This person need to do something because I have a strong feeling that you don't trust this person anymore. Maybe this person hurts you and maybe you do not want to go back. But guys, I can see Case Scorpio, Pisces, whoever this person is, this person still think of you. If this is your current partner, then obviously situation between you and this person will be good. But if this is your ex, and for some of you it is, probably you do not want to go back, but ex of yours still is very, you know, interested into you. Let me see what else, guys, I can see. And even I can see obsession, and exactly... Uh, you know, Major Arcana, the moon talks about obsession. So, my dear Leos, your ex is obsessed with you. Whether you like that or maybe you don't, but this person think day and especially night about you. You can receive a couple of phone calls, you know, uh, on your iPhone and probably you don't see who is calling, you know, because probably you already... Uh, you already erased phone number of this person, but this person quite very easily during the night can send you a message without a signature. Major Arcana the Moon. Something is fishy. Something is weird. For some of you, you simply do not know what to do and how to feel uh, probably uh, with this person, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Well, maybe for some of you. You see, guys, you still expect something. You still want to see, you want to hear uh, some words, words, but uh, simply follow your instinct. Follow your instinct and, you know, um, allow yourself uh, to get out from this illusion. Because Major Arcana, the moon is always about illusion, half truths, you know, disillusion something that you don't understand, maybe some relationship, a couple of months, which started in a, such a beautiful way. And all of a sudden, over the night, this person simply disappeared from your life. Still, you can't explain that to yourself. What the heck 
happened? You know, what the heck happened? And still probably you don't have the answer. The answer will come, but probably not in this week. Now let me see my dear Leo's final tarot card. Exactly, so I was right. This is your ex obsessed with you. So, uh, you know, maybe this is a little bit, you know, weird. You know, how come someone is so obsessed, obsessed, you know, with you? And this person basically is saying nothing. So if you're dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, because this is a water element, you know, uh, for, uh, for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, it's very difficult to express feelings, you know. So maybe you need to be patient, or maybe all together you need to forget about this person. But I'm sure your ex simply can't forget about you. So you see, my dear friends, Leo's first three tarot cards are completely different than uh, another layer of your weekly reading. Stay away from this fog. Stay away from this mist because this only can drag you down. I can see for so many of you energetical vampire, you know, someone who is promising a lot, but maybe this person is not ready, uh, you know, uh, to give what this person is promised to you. So you can count on this Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. For some of you, this also could be Libra, Gemini or an Aquarian. Okay, so final advice or I don't know, let me see what I will get. I will get. Let me see final tarot card for this upcoming week. Opportunity beacons, guys. So, no doubt about that. So many of you, my dear Leos, you are worried. Maybe you cannot sleep. But once again, guys, you can see that there is someone who think of you day and night. And I told you, during the night, you can receive a phone message without a um, signature, you know but in a business opportunity because so you don't need to worry that much guys about your money the very first tarot card talks about your talent you should listen to your talent much more carefully what you want to achieve uh, in this you know lifetime because i can see that you are blocked especially with this major kind of the moon so many leos can be blocked when it comes to your creativity Obviously, you're a little bit, you know, worried about your family, about money or about, you know, these type of things. But just listen to your intuition. You have a secret gift inside of you, which obviously you do not using. So remember what basically this is all about. Guys, this is uh, your weekly reading. General one, but still, if you want to hear your story... Do not hesitate, call me and book a private reading with me. Make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Bye.